I can't like close my eye, but. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it is spooky season. Anyhow, we are giving you this Halloween look on this channel today. Now this look was inspired no by no one other than Samuel Ray. Um, I will link down his Instagram post where I kind of saw this look and I want to recreate it. So this is no nothing my idea, nothing totally borrowed it from him and I'm so glad he did it because you know this shit is badass and everybody knows I am a fan of The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington, like yes. So I'm sorry like I don't know what to do with my bangs like there's just no way. <clears throat> but yeah so this is today's look. Um, I added some little gems on my eye and then just to let you know um, all of this right here is totally everything at home. I didn't have to go to that buy no damn spirit gum, spirit glue, whatever. Um, this is all from my house. No, really a penny I have to drop for all this special effects kind of stuff. Makeup, everything's super cheap. Um, like Walmart status cheap. Like, yes, girl. I'll be your budget Halloween go-getter. But yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, um, just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see, I kind of have my makeup done. I, um, just, like, got home from school and everything. Sorry from scratching my neck. It's just, like, super itchy. Um, but for this look, obviously, part of it's going to be done differently, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this kind of side and, like, a little thing with, a, like, a makeup remover, and I'll be right back. Alright, so hold tight. <clears throat> okay. Literally felt like I freaking tore my face off with the damn thing. So I couldn't find my makeup remover, so I have to use like my little cotton pad things, not the over my eye. My eye's all red, I'm scrubbing the shit out of it for the mascara. And then I realized that my eyes are gonna be black anyway, so why do I even bother? Okay, so with that to be said, sorry if I move all this, so like I'm trying to get myself adjusted. I'm just gonna go in with like a nude um, eyeliner, lip liner, whatever you want to use, and kind of just trace out where I'm going to be starting the skele skeleton section because, like, I want to do this look justice because I just I love it. I can't tell you guys enough. Let's see. So I know it's like more. everybody does their stuff differently I'm going to ghetto rig this because I don't have time to go to the store because class my next class is gonna be coming up soon so I'm gonna work with what I have I literally like shredded up little pieces of toilet paper you can use because this toilet paper seems really thick for some reason you can use like paper towels cotton pads whatever and then I don't have any spirit gum but this is what I used to call like ghetto glue back in the day um, long story short, it's just like a flour paste, so flour and water to get it to like a thick kind of consistency. Now I don't know how this is going to go, so it's kind of a first time try for me, so cha. Yeah. And the reason I'm doing this first is because I wouldn't want this to dry as I'm doing like my makeup on this eye um, to make sure everything's pretty like intact. So... I want to use a brush for this because I feel like it's going to get messy. So just with the flat, it's kind of like dirty knees, but I'm going to scoop some on the brush. Yeah, some of it off. And we'll just start right here. I'm just going to kind of pat it in because I want it thick enough to stick to the paper, you know?
Hopefully this works. If it does, just save y'all some money. Just, just saying. Thank you later. Okay, and I'm going to use this side of my mirror just so I can see a little bit better because the girl cannot see to save her. This is way too fucking big. Pat this down, oh my god, with another pretty good layer, just to make sure this bitch sticks. Okay, maybe toilet paper is not the way to go, but I'm already too far in here to stop, so let's keep going. because one girl it's Halloween and you probably work your ass off for this look but it's supposed to be scary <clears throat> okay so now that we got that on there i'm just gonna let it dry but as it's drying just to save us some time we're gonna start working on this side so pretty much what we're gonna be doing is just like a smoky eye, but like a little bit of a semi-glam one. Now, just to save this video some time because these can get pretty lengthy, um, I'm just going to show you guys the product of what I'm using and then we're just gonna like speed this whole thing up. But I'm using the BH Cosmetics, uh, sorry if I can't talk right, I'm trying to let it dry good. Uh, special occasions palette. This is like extremely freaking old. I don't know if they even have it online still. Um, but yeah, let's do this. So 
brief interruption. If you hear anything scattering around, it's probably my cat because she was crying at the door and I don't like what she said. So let's continue. All right, and with some eyelash glue, we're gonna add a little bit of I'm sorry if it seemed like it took forever. I really did not have that organized. I was going to use just one color, but I figured I like the different colors to it. And they're not a color separate either. I'm sorry if I can't talk. I feel like this shit's drying up so I'm about like, sorry dude. So I literally had like a little container of them from like nail gems or whatever. I need to color it in with like concealer first just because I feel like it'll be harder afterwards. Why is this concealer dark as fuck? I think I'm gonna go in with some foundation too, just so it's a little bit. Okay, so I kind of also blended a little bit of it in. But so far what I've been noticing, it's um, it's a little bit wet still, so I'm kind of letting it dry. But I kind of want to start peeling it because time's a-wasting. So with my tweezers, as you kind of see me do earlier, I'm just going to start lifting it. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. I just hope my eyebrows don't come off. I'm not peeling it all the way off, I'm just peeling the inner corner or inside of it just to give, give it like that lifted skin effect.
Okay. So I kind of traced out where I want my eyes to be, but I kind of trace it just more so, so I don't add the white. But just with some white makeup cream, like all this shit is a caliber, by the way, you guys. Um, excuse me. I got a big brush, but I kind of want a small brush. There we go. I'm gonna use a small like concealer brush and start applying that. Now I'm telling you, this is like a budget ass friendly. Oh shit. <laughs> makeup look that you don't have to spend a ton of money on like these little face creams are probably are you kidding me right now cal introducing cal you guys because apparently she don't have to fucking chill okay so pretty much what i'm gonna do just to speed this process up I'm gonna put white, obviously, in the areas where white goes, and set it with some translucent powder. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so pretty much everything's set. The only thing is, <laughs> I probably should let the cream dry a little bit more because when I was putting the translucent powder, it was like smearing, as you can see. But we're gonna add some shading, anyways, to kind of make it look like, you know, kind of effects and whatnot. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and start darkening the things I need darkened. I'm gonna go with this actually and probably make it a little easier. It looks like I'm angry as fuck. start shading in everything. And so there's some fallout of course, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of contour the nose a little bit. And then with the fluffy brush that I have, just to kind of add some depth, depth, I cannot talk with this shit. I'm just gonna brush it out right there. Oh, and then also what I'm using for the black, I found my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. Um, as you can see, it's very powdery, so I probably would recommend going in with something less powdery, of course. Pretty much, I'm gonna start tracing out the mouth. So I'm not gonna go in with the lip with the liner just yet because I want to add some depth and some shadow to it. And then with the flat angle brush, actually, we're gonna start making the mouth lines. And the reason I'm going in with shadow first, as you guys know, I'm going to add that shadow effect and then I'm going to go in with the lip liner so it looks like the darker. Slightly just faded this out this way so it gives that shadowy effect as well. Now let's go in with the eyeliner. Go in with the eyeliner. And 
with the black eyeliner, I'm just gonna go in and hit it in the inner and outer waterline. Just to make sure the eye is pretty dark. I mean, we're closing it either way, but still, you know, let's just save ourselves time. Alrighty, guys, we're almost there. Okay, so now it's time to add the blood, and I think we're, oh no. I forgot the neck. So I'm just gonna do the neck off camera real quick, and then we'll come back with the completed look. Um, no, I'm sorry, I lied. Actually, I'll come back and show you guys how I'm gonna do this blood, and then we'll come back with the completed look. Hold on. Okay, you guys, <laughs> I don't wanna tell you how exhausted I am. <laughs> But I did the neck real quick, just a simple, you know, white droop, and then black around it, and then dabbed with one of these, like, sponges that come in most Halloween kits. Just kind of, like, you know, dabbed it around, and I'm actually going to go ahead and do the exact same thing all over where you put that stuff at. So let's have a little bit, like, in a blood in a cap. I like the cap of the little thing, you know. I'll start off, like, right here. And I think I'm going to go in with like a paintbrush and the blood brush just to make it look deeper, you know? There we go, yep. Okay, so let's take these suckers down. Alrighty guys, so this would be our completed look. I can't like close my eye, but... guys well i hope you like it don't forget to tag me if you recreate this as well uh, so like i said a big huge shout out to and i'll make sure i get his name spelled right it's samuel.ray um i'll go ahead and link it down below but like thank god for his genius mind because this would not have ever happened so thank you boo yeah so definitely go out to his page shout him out like tag me in his thing could that be so awesome and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.